balls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Amen, brother. I Get the balls say, out I now. I knew somebody was going to probably say it. <laughs> oh, man. All right, well, welcome back, yeah, guys. I feel like you guys to... are thinking about me too much. <laughs> welcome back, guys, to another uh, All Things Nerd podcast. Uh, last time we had talked about Back for Blood uh, here with Michael, but now we have Hype here with us. Hype. And, sh- and Hi. Shiloh. Yeah. <laughs> so we put him up. <laughs> and Shiloh. Hey, what's up? I put my pants on. Yeah. <laughs> I put my pants on. Uh, today we were just going to talk about uh, mostly the Lord of the Rings, um, specifically the uh, TV show that Amazon was going to release. They had announced that it was going to be for five seasons. Um, what do you guys think about that? Are you guys excited for that? Or yes, no? I'm in. I, I just hope they do good by the cast. Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm pretty excited for it, for sure. Hmm. Um, I had some that they... it was about like... I don't. It was at least twenty people that were listed on the, the article that I was reading, but all all the names wasn't anybody that had even um, recognized at all. So I don't know if it's all just newer actors or or what. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I think it's gonna be good. Like I'm excited for the yeah. show because I've always wanted them to create something that was more, um, similar to the the movies because I liked I liked all the original movies that they had come out. I thought the Hobbit was good, but there was just too much CGI for me to yeah. really to really enjoy it. Um, Not a lot of cool battles. Yeah, so I'm excited for the, the show. I just I just hope that they do it good. Yeah, um, yeah. So I, I read I read on there. Uh, it's gonna get a little nerdy <laughs> from here. I haven't watched them in a, in a long time, so I used to know more about the backstory of the uh, of the War of the Rings when things kind of took place, like in the universe. Uh, but this one, so apparently, like the movies, I guess they take place near the Third Age. Shallow, you want to give us a little recap on how that happened? What was that? Never mind. Recap on. <laughs> I, thought sorry. Gonna, I thought you were going to quote like the movie from the beginning. I was hoping you would. Sorry. <laughs> uh, so In the land of Mordor. Yeah, there we go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Because, uh, well, yeah, <laughs> please, yeah. Was it, um, I'm trying to remember the because for the year 34 or 34 is what they had like brought up. When was that again? Was that uh, like... it was in the Fellowship of the Ring? I'm pretty sure. Okay, because that it, was like Gandalf before... was trying to get more information about some stuff, and right. he said, but the, he's reading from the scroll, and it, he mentions in the year 34, 34 of the Second Age. So that's the year in the okay. Second Age when the whole battle, like the I don't know what you want to call it, the kind of it's basically the final battle between the elves, men. And the orcs and Sauron, right? <clears throat> when Sauron defeat, uh, when when, oh, frick, oh my gosh, I'm blinking out. <laughs> Isildur defeated Sauron, took yeah. the ring. Yeah. Okay. Right. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> uh, yeah. So the the movies they they take place like during the end of the Third Age, and so the TV show is um supposed to, supposed to take place during the Second Age. So this is like thousands of years before the Fellowship of the Ring. Um. I think it's like after the ring was like already forged. So I, I hope it'll be good. Like they're going to have, I'm, I'm assuming a lot of new characters that are in it. I don't know if it's people that are already in the books. I'm, I'm pretty sure they wouldn't really go off base and just create new people out of nowhere. Uh, yeah. They might yeah. reference upcoming yeah. characters that are in the movie. Right. They were yeah, from so the movie. They haven't announced. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They haven't really even announced like who's going to play who in the movie it's just like literally all the names i saw just sound like all of these uh like new zealand like i guess i, I don't know what you call those people like islanders or whatever it was all these like swedish looking names in the in the I, cast section i just want this tv show to be every time sam takes a step he'll just say it's the farthest he's ever been like that youtube video <laughs> i love that <laughs> i love that one it's like, a, like it's probably a 10 hour video yeah, it's like a nine-hour video. God. <laughs> it's the farthest from home I've ever been. It's the farthest from home. <laughs> that would be awesome. Yeah. So, um, Caleb, what's up? Um, I kind of have some more information here, but I don't know if you wanted to, if you have any more content or what your next question was about it. I don't want to step on your toes here. Uh, no. I mean, if you have anything, anything to say, go. So, ahead. Uh, it was in the article that you sent me. <laughs> it was in the article you sent me. Uh, because Here's a you said. Like, show. You didn't grab it. Right? Okay, thank you. I got yeah. it. Thanks. 
right. So Inter- intercepted. <laughs> oh, dang it. Go ahead, dang Nathan. It. Now it's my All turn. Right. Go ahead. <laughs> I just want them to fly the bird to Mordor so we can skip three hours of the TV show. <laughs> and then How drop the you? ring in the fire. Kick him, kick him out. He doesn't yeah. understand. Uh, he doesn't a, lot, understand. A, lot, a lot could have been avoided if they had just done that from the beginning. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> give me the stick. Okay, I got the stick. All right. Um, <laughs> so, in the article, Caleb, towards the end of the article, it was mentioning, I guess, this guy, uh, his name is Tom Shippey. Um, all I can... All I can tell from him is he's somehow connected to what's called the estate of J.R.R. Tolkien. So I guess it, it's kind of mainly like J.R.R. Tolkien's like IP, like his property and whatnot or whatever. Mm-hmm. And anyway, so long story short, it was mentioning that they refused uh, to grant Amazon permission to film anything other than the same page. Um, gotcha. I'm quoting right now, and they said, as to not alter the history, more fleshed out third age. So basically, when he mentions that, he's meaning every one of the movies we've seen, even including the Hobbit trilogy, mm-hmm. takes place in the third age. <clears throat> right. So the show, it appears, is only going to be in the second age, uh, which is obviously okay. like during, again, Sauron's time mm-hmm. when he creates the ring and he ends up, you know, taking control, wanting to, you know, take over the lands and obviously they have the ultimate battle and whatnot. But furthermore, kind of, kind of going on what you just mentioned not too long about like the characters. So on top of that, um, you know, obviously there's that there's there is that problem where like I don't know, I mean, I don't know if any of you guys have seen um but <clears> hype, <throat> have you seen Game of Thrones? Yep. So uh I don't know how much you know about it. I'm sure you know more than me, but but I feel like I know season eight can suck my balls. <laughs> <laughs> I agree, I agree. Okay, but in the show, any character in the show, were they all as you as you I don't know if you normally know this because it's more TV knowledge, but do you know if any of the characters were kind of made up that weren't in the books or as far as your knowledge goes, they were all from the books? I don't know. I read the first book and then I was like, yeah, fuck this. And then the TV show started like a year later and I was like, thank God. Right. No, no, I I (laughs) can see what you're going. I can say the same thing, but I think from, from our experience, any one of us from our experience from like Netflix or certain like movie adaptions, this and that, that either characters are either changed and or like kind of mm. altered in a different way, or there's other characters that we have no idea who they are just to like progress some kind of story. Well, basically all I'm trying to say is that we, even though there's some, obviously some things here we don't know yet, or like, well, I hope it does well, you know, characters, that could be iffy. It's saying that they don't want Amazon to alter, like, characters and or, like, add characters that are, like, oh, not going to okay. actually go with the narrative. So Basically uh, mess everything up. Exactly. Right, you, know, look, yeah. can, you know what? I'm going to start this quote over. I'm just going to quote this article right here. It's this last paragraph. It'll it's explain the furthest it's right ever here. been. So, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so it says, quote, however... However, the series may not even get out of the Second Age, which is, again, 3,441 years ago, or four years long. So it's got a lot to work with. As according to the Tolkien scholar and the Lord of the Rings consultant Tom Shivy, the estate of J.R.R. Tolkien has refused to grant access or Amazon permission to film anything other than the Second Age as to not alter the history of the more fleshed-out Third Age. But you can add new characters and ask a lot of questions like, what has Sauron done in the meantime? Where was he after Morgoth was defeated? Theoretically, so they can create other characters, but nothing to mess with the timeline or what we've already seen. Um, And then, and then further on, it says theoretically Amazon can Mm. answer these questions by inventing the answers, since Tolkien did not describe it. Should be explained, but it must not contradict anything which Tolkien did say. So basically, there are some things I guess putting characters in certain information that they can make up, but it's stuff that Tolkien didn't Mm. like. They didn't define or actually give an answer to. So as long as it's not going to change the narrative or change, again, what we've already seen, so a.k.a. Lord of the Rings or The Hobbit, like, as long as it doesn't mess with that linear thing, yeah. um, that's what the access they have. So even if okay, they do awesome. have other things, it's not going to be stuff that's going to screw what they had. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, random Which shit. is nice to know, though, because, like, I noticed that's a huge <laughs> problem with, uh, with shows whenever they have a TV show or movie adaptations of books is that's what they tend to screw with is they'll change mm-hmm. different things. Like I always see those memes. I'm, I'm not a huge like Harry Potter fan just cause I never sat down and really watched them. But, uh, I always laugh at that one meme where, uh, wasn't it Dumbledore where it said like he, um, he gently like exclaimed like something or calmly. Like, in the movie. Yes, yeah, calmly. Calmly. He's like, ah! <laughs> he like screams yeah. at him or something in the movie, like stuff like that. Like, they'll change. How did you put your name in the governor fire, Harry? <laughs> 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 but they completely calmly. change things when not, or even scenarios, events that happen, or they'll completely mm. take things out. 
So I think it's nice that they kind of have free range to do whatever they want to do in a sense, as long as it doesn't um, tamper mm-hmm. with any it of the keeps main them kind of stuff. true, exactly. right? Yeah, which which I think is or, or anything in general to screw Tolkien because it's like right. this is literally his work. Like that's yeah. the one thing I hate about rights and people passing away and stories changing because people would be like, you know, have you heard of that one story? I like it a lot, but I always kind of want to envision it this way. It's like okay, mm-hmm. stop right there. <laughs> yeah, how dare you? Mm-hmm. Exactly. Do you guys know how long the first season is supposed to be? No. So I, I, it's right here in the article. It's uh, the, They're saying that they have, first of all, I guess the contract that they got is supposed to be approved for five seasons. And they're, they are filming the second season now. So they're already okayed with the second season, I guess. But I guess the first season is going to be 20 episodes. Wow. Ooh. Oh, wow. And I'm assuming they're going to probably be like 45 minutes to an hour long episodes probably too. Because I mean, nice. if this, cause they're saying, oh, this is going to be like the next Game of Thrones. I'm not going to draw the comparison. All I'm going to say is I know that this show is going to have, it's going to be pretty graphic and there's going to be some nudity and whatnot. So drawing you similarities. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Drawing similarities though, I could, I could agree. Okay, this seems like it's kind of a Game of Thrones-esque show. But if it's like that, if it's a drama like that, then it's going to have a lot of screen time. Because Game of this Thrones podcast had a lot just got of interesting. Time. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy though. I mean, if they're hour-long episodes, if they are, that's awesome. looking at twenty hours yeah. for just the first season, and before eight-minute mini episodes. Yeah. <laughs> Do they need someone cast for the nudist yeah. Hobbit in the game in the TV yeah. show? Your I feet aren't furry good. enough. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to wear a cape. That's it. <laughs> oh man, the feet I'm in the shot. Yeah, and Sounds ask about needed. fourth breakfast the whole TV show. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's you like funny. finish off the scene. Mm. Hey, what about second breakfast? Like, yeah. Oh <laughs> boy. Winks at the camera. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, everyone who's a true fan will get that. They'll be like, oh yeah. <laughs> Cute Pornhub drum kit. <laughs> oh, I should have your drum set show. I know, prick. <laughs> well, we need you for uh, for the jokes on the podcast. Yeah, you, drum <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Sorry, boys, I got it. <clears throat> I saw that they um, part of the deal is so that they were allowing for potential spinoffs too. So I don't know if, yeah, that, that's, uh, cool. if that's going to be uh, geared towards specific characters or just kind of the way that I see it is that it's going to be similar to um, like Fear of the Walking Dead, how they have like several other different uh, spinoff series or like you have Better better Call Saul uh, with Breaking Bad. So mm-hmm. I, I think that'll be cool. So it's like <clears throat> you'll have all these shows where they'll focus on the main storylines. And then maybe kind of like The Walking Dead, they'll veer off and they'll focus on different characters. But you won't have to worry about them going too far off the trail where they can deal with those sort of things on um, like the side series. Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> so I think that'd be really cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm seeing that in the article. I was trying to look for it. But yeah, I'm excited about that. I think the fact is, though, mm. um, is obviously the show has to succeed first. Right. Yeah. Um, which, yeah. The obvi- it's, that's obvious. It makes sense. But I'm excited about it because we're you guys obviously are probably all Star Wars fans, as am I. But yeah. Mandalorian. If you're watching the Mandalorian and oh, you also God. know the other spinoff shows they're going to do though, like they're doing Kenobi, etc. Mm-hmm. Um, that it's imagine that, but Lord of the Rings. Like I'm hearing that right. they might do a spinoff show where it's centered on a young Aragorn. So it's oh, like okay. that stuff is cool. Like like heck yeah, I'm in. <laughs> Yeah. Get to I was, see how he became a badass, basically. Right. I was told a while back they were talking about doing a full Gimli movie, oh, and like his oh, background, like yeah. <laughs> <and stuff. laughs> I love it. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, Gimli is our favorite. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so God, I was like, oh, that would me. be cool. <laughs> I, I wish they could just use the original actor, but obviously everyone here in this movie is like twenty years older as of now. Yeah. yeah, I know that guy. That guy, I don't know how old he is. I he looks old he to is, begin with because yeah. this, the movies were finished up almost 20 years ago. You know, the last one came out in 2003. But John yeah. Rice Davies, he played in Indiana Jones, like the first one. Yeah, he's like, still back, old. like 1980 or something. <laughs> so I'm like, this guy's, I think he's kind of getting out there a little bit. And Ian he McKellen, looked the same, but just seven feet two. tall. Oh, yes, yeah, <laughs> actually. 
Speaking of Ian McKellen, I heard, um, like, I either heard he wanted to reprise his role as Gandalf or he would like to. But I don't know. I don't think that's confirmed. But I think it would be really cool if he came back as Gandalf. I think you know Gandalf is also known as Mithrandir and, like, kind of a demigod of sorts. Like, if you look at the tiers of, like, these super beings and whatnot, he's, like, really, 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 really old. (laughs) Gandalf. Yeah. I I don't know if he's that old or not. Mm hmm. I will denounce any Gandalf that's not Ian McKellen. (laughs) Yes. You'd be like, I am Gandalf. You'd be like, you're an imposter! (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, because Gladriel is supposed to be in the show, but she's like a lot younger, so I don't don't know if they meant as in uh, like a kid or or what, but she's supposed to be in it, so... I I feel like if anything, Gandalf, if he is going to be in it, it should be him. If there's another Gandalf, we're going to call an Among Us meeting. We're gonna yeah. kick him out. Yeah. <laughs> it was this guy voting yeah. him off. <laughs> so Actually, in space. Um, um, bully guys, him off the show. I didn't yeah. see Gandalf doing any tasks. <laughs> yeah. 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 Fine. I actually learned a, a cool fun fact. Uh, you guys obviously know the guy who played uh, Sauron, Christopher. He, I think he died not too long ago. Um, and I guess he had a. He actually had. Some of, like he kind of had he was actually, like he knew uh, J.R.R. Tolkien personally like he was that old. Oh, um, I know he didn't pass away until like a little while ago, but Christopher Lee, I think he was already in his seventies when he took he's on the a, role of like Saruman or something like that. He's a thousand years anyways, old. <laughs> anyways, Saruman actually a thousand years old. Yeah, Dude, I, I look that good when I'm a thousand. <laughs> <laughs> I guess Christopher Lee actually wanted to play Gandalf. And um, because he, he loved the character so much and he loved Lord of the Rings and whatnot. But then I guess they were like, you know, actually, we think you would actually be a better Saruman. And he was just like, okay, I mean, either way, as long as I could be a character, like, I love Lord of the Rings. So I didn't know that. I didn't know he was, he wanted to play Gandalf and then he would have if Ian McKellen didn't get it. But of course, Ian McKellen got it and then he got Saruman. I think they, they couldn't mm. have picked two better actors because those guys were the perfect Gandalf and the mm. perfect Saruman. Exactly. It, it'd be weird if Gandalf looked like, that yeah <laughs> throw me off like sorry but he he does already kind of naturally look a little evil they just yeah like it's, like, it's gotta be the nose yeah yeah like we're not gonna have danny mcbride play gandalf like <laughs> weird. bring up awesome. the mullet we're to blow some shit up yeah. <laughs> pools are so great for holding water yeah we don't have like the stream it- yeah, I have these... meat cannon in that role. Like, oh, God. These bitches, they just want to just say meat cannon? in a dungeon. Yeah, we're gonna tie a tiger bomb to this jungle's nutsack. <laughs> God. Yeah, meat cannon, the YouTuber. Yep, <laughs> he looks like Danny McBride. <laughs> <laughs> meat cannons, it gets from God. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Um, <laughs> hey, Caleb, uh, do you have anything else on the agenda for this uh, the show, or are we just kind of free reign here still? Uh, still just kind of free reign. Um, I mean, I have, I have high hopes for it. I, I tend to kind of equate most shows with like, whether if they have like a high budget, that is generally going to be pretty good. I mean, you see like, uh, them making the Mandalorian, like obviously if you've seen the set that they made <clears throat> where they work, oh, that was with, dope. uh, they work with, what was it not? Unreal, was it unreal engine? But I, think it, was I think it is in unity, unity, right? I think it was, no, no, it was unreal. Yeah. Used, um, yeah. Unity, they use like yeah. the Unreal Engine, where mm-hmm. the the uh, the camera inside the engine is mapped to the actual camera. Yeah, so it was so cool. They're able to use Unreal Engine um, in real time, and they can manip- manipulate the weather, the surroundings, whatever they want uh, in the That's engine cool. with all these different screens. So they don't even use green screens. So it looks with reflections of the suits. Like they don't have to do yeah. anything. But Crazy. just to have that much money to be able to do that sort of thing, like you could you could do anything in the show. And so with yeah. this one, I saw that the uh, the total cost for it was a uh, billion dollars for the for the yeah. show. So, yeah. which when I was reading on there, it was the original movies had the total gross for that was uh, three billion, and they only paid two hundred eighty one million to make it. But to have the total yeah. gross to, over this whole time to be three billion, but now this show is just about to start, and their their total cost of it is one billion. <laughs> Like it's gonna be, it's gonna be a lot put into this uh, show to create. Right. I think it's gonna be good though. Is that one billion for their mapped out five seasons, or is I that think currently so. what they, okay? Because that would make more sense than like what they've already done. <laughs> but yeah. that's like even for a whole five season 
yeah. contract. Because that was so with, uh, like, the stage, like I said, with uh, with uh, cast <clears throat> members, uh, costumes. Like, that was, like, everything was the one billion but i don't know if that was just for the one season or i think it's the whole the whole five seasons that they have planned out i hope it's good though because mm -hmm. I, I agree with you. i think obviously me and hype can both be on the same page here with this but like i watched game of thrones i watched all of it and yeah i uh i love seasons one through six seven was still okay and then eight just dropped off um yeah. It was not good at all. <laughs> and I will say, it's it was the story. It wasn't anything else, really. I can also add, I hated some of the lighting in some of the shows. I know Hype can attest to I what episode that. I'm talking wasn't about. Wasn't it too dark? <laughs> it was like, what episode was it? The second yeah. or third episode? It was like the final like battle or whatnot, whatever it's called. Oh, and the, it was against insane. the Night King and all that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. He couldn't see shit. Yeah, yeah, it was, was freaking like, was it it was too dark? dark. And it was like it was like if you started a video game and he was like, all right, here's the contrast. We want to fight 50 50, and someone just went, put it on five. It was, like, yeah. it was so low. Anyways, I heard somebody say, I think five. it was an artistic choice. I think they wanted me to make you feel like one of the soldiers and you couldn't really see anything. And I was like, okay, but That's here's, here's, here's where you have to have a line because shows all the time like okay you ever see like a nighttime scene hey, in any show movie real, real quick uh sorry i think i heard you wrong did you say artistic or autistic both no oh, okay. <laughs> gotcha. Ar artistic artistic <laughs> but, R2, like, D2? You, you see any any scene in any movie or show any nighttime you scene can. they always make it lighter than it actually is and mm -hmm. we we know that they can't see anything like there'll be a part where like you can kind of clearly see like a lego on the floor and someone will be like, or like a lamp or something, and someone will walk in the middle of the room, and they'll be like, hit it, like, oh, oh, like they didn't see it. Right. This episode was like, they took that and was like, no, make it actually pitch black. And it hey, was like, what if we got rid of our studio lights? <laughs> 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 Anyways, all I'm saying is my bone to pick with that episode, or with that season, was the story. But I will definitely say that episode did not do great at all with the lighting. But it, let's just say the story, hype especially, I'm talking to you hype especially. If that story, if the writing was done actually right, I, I would only pick on that one episode about the lighting, and that's it. I wouldn't have anything else to say about the season. You know what I mean? Like, Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> so same thing with the show. I hope I hope the show does a good job because you were mentioning CG, Caleb, not too long ago, and like mm. obviously like budget and whatnot. And Mandalorian, it's a prime example of how to use CG. Like they, everything's space, right? Everything's make believe, and everything else. So it's like obviously most things on that show, except for like if it was an actual prop or whatever was just like cg and it was done so well like you couldn't really tell um and uh like the hobbit trilogy right aside from you know other jokes or whatever i liked some of the hobbit you know i like the first hobbit the most and for me it was just it was really the cg it was just too much of a nitpick like the lord of the rings like 10 years before they even made the hobbit trilogy freaking 20 years now can still stand up for the most part and they used freaking miniatures for god's sake you know miniatures yeah. actual costumes on on locations you know, shooting, that's how you do it. But if yeah. you, you do use CG, you have to do it better. And um, anyways, all I'm saying is the, it's a prime example to show, like, you can ruin a movie or a show with bad acting and bad writing, but you could do the same thing with bad CG. And um, mm -hmm. I'm kind of hoping that the show just does really good. If they use CG, just do it well, how you were saying. Right. And again, when it comes to the main thing, I think, you know, obviously the writing and uh, the story itself, the direction yeah. of it has to be better than the CG. Because CG... You know. CGI oh, no, can I, make movies better. Have we not seen Phantom Menace? Star Wars? Hello? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Of all the this is what I call <laughs> pod racing. <Yeah. laughs> this is what I call podcasting. You've underestimated yeah. my power. Yeah, power. <laughs> <laughs> yeah I, I think I think the more practical that you go, um, the better the better that it is. Because my problem with like the Hobbit was there was too much CG where it almost felt like it was kind of this Alice in Wonderland sort of vibe where everything around you obviously looks fake. <coughs> and it's it's good CG, but when you have too much and then you have real people inside a CG world, it just looks, it, everything looks green screened uh, is right, what my problem was. But yeah. if you have, if you go more practical, like, you know, you're chopping off the head or, or you know, anything else, um, it can go a long way and the, it'll sell the effect a lot better than if you had... Um, everything cg and i think that's what worked with the old movies i mean and that's that's the whole reason why uh you brought up the mandalorian that's why it, it fits so well was they liked the animatronic uh look with the old movies using the puppets for like yoda or any other characters and it, it, it fit better rather than having cg characters because then it felt yeah. out of place where you have a, a 
you have a character and then you have an animated character when you put them both together you can do like good cg like you know people if they're petting let's say a head or of an animal or something it, it doesn't look right like when it when it's obviously 3d and if, uh, rather than if you have an actual object that's there uh, so yeah uh, i i think that's probably what they're going to do it's probably going to go more of a practical route with the show and i, I really hope that's what they do uh with mm-hmm. it um <clears throat> I saw that one of the characters, uh, I guess he's one of the, um, I don't know if it was the Urukai that was in the Fellowship of the Ring, the one that kills Boromir, oh, but, but oh, yeah, the... I don't I don't know if he was in it, but they had brought up in the article that there was this guy that was um, going to, I guess, apparently, supposedly uh, supposed to be reprising his role as that in the show. Oh, shit. So, that's but cool. I don't know if it's as the that's same, really cool. the same or- orc or Urukai. If it's gonna be the same dude, or if it's just him playing somebody else, but it's gonna be that guy. So it'll probably be be that because he wasn't created as a as a Urukai, and obviously until like the third age, so that would make yeah. sense. But yeah, that's true. They dig him up. Damn. Yeah, it's so cool though. The actor just playing somebody else, freaking, he's cool. Speaking of that, <clears throat> uh, that a uh, little that Urukai scene, or when he, when he kills Boromir, did anybody else when you watch the show? notice that uh, one of the dead Urukais sits up, like he's like, "We don't want to shoot." Yeah, you guys ever yeah. that? You guys yeah. ever see that before? Fuck, I might have to go look at that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I remember seeing it as a kid <laughs> and uh, watching. Everybody's laying down. They're like, "No, poor me, run away!" Oh, and he's just dying. And then, as soon as the shot, like the the end of the um, the shot on the left, I think it's the left side when the camera pans, he sits up. Oh the, God, the guy sits up. Yeah, <laughs> he sits it's, up there. It's, um, the 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 angle is it shows Gorn running in the scene after. Boromir is laying on against the tree, and Aragorn runs and pans across the right side mm-hmm. of the screen. Before the pan continues all the way, the Urukai like lifts up his head. <laughs> Someone call my name. It's God, just a you're... total stormtrooper <laughs> move. Fired immediately. Total stormtrooper move. <laughs> that guy lost yeah. his job that day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or like, uh, oh, what was it? I'm pretty sure you saw it, Shiloh. It was that yeah. one guy. It became a meme where it was the guy with the jeans and the and the watch in the Mandalorian. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's standing in the background. You just see him like yeah. half of his body behind a wall. Like they can't see me if I don't move. And you just he see him with, like... the, with the watch, sneakers on, and jeans in the background. God, <laughs> he's just like he's like George Lucas and Meet Kenya's short, and he's like, yeah. I think they just call him uh, Jeans Guy. Is what they call him. Yeah. That's awesome. That guy's just ahead of the curve, man. Like, I mean, you know? it's still not a Starbucks cup, you know? Uh, yeah, right? thank God. <laughs> for, for anybody who can uh, view this right now on Discord, that's the picture. Yeah. yeah. So oh, it's, like a, it's like a major shot that you can see with three people. That's <laughs> awesome. He's just standing in the background. Now, you know what's hilarious about that is it's my fault. It's the camera guy's fault. And then the yeah. second guy's fault is the editor. Like, as yeah. the editor, he's like, How do you oh. not see that, though? Like, you have a wide oh, shot God. with all these people. <laughs> the guy's just standing in the background. If, if I don't move, the snake will not smell me. <laughs> yeah. That reminds me of uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. <clears throat> I'm standing so incredibly still. Yeah. It's a sister, yeah. Yeah. I, too, am incredibly humble. <laughs> yeah. Basically my phrase. Oh, uh, man. Uh, so one of the other things, moving on from the TV show, we were talking about spinoffs. Uh, did any of you guys see the... I, I think they came out with a gameplay trailer, but it was the teaser for Gollum. Yes. Yeah, that looked... Yeah. Yeah. I think it's going to be stupid. Like It kind of reminds me of that one <laughs> game that was called Styx. I, I, yes. I'm, I'm kind of thinking it's going to be similar to that game. Oh, it's going to be like but to make first uh, game. <laughs> but like, to make a game, though, out of all the cool characters you could have... That's what I was going to say. <laughs> why Gollum? Why right. Gollum? The Why scum Gollum. of the earth. Yeah. yeah like, I don't know. From what I had seen too, I, I don't like the art style. Wait, who's now? Who's the company again that made it or making it? Is it EA? Uh, I'm not sure to be honest. Who is making the game? <clears throat> I just and I don't know. It's like who would have thought? Like guys, we should make a a really good like linear narrative game. It has to be. Left, you know, I don't know. Last of, last of Us Two for the Game of Year Award. What should we make? Uh, so it looks like it says Gollum, uh, Day Dalek Entertainment. You're like, oh, uh, shit, I was just kidding for real. Yeah. <laughs> Day Dalek. 
for a data look. <laughs> yep. Dick look. Like oh shit! Oh, yeah, I thought yeah, we were just kidding. I, I wasn't serious. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I agree with you, Chico. I think the, the art style is a bit wonky. But yeah, yeah he's kind of a giant head. <laughs> Do you guys re- remember that the Hobbit <laughs> game? Just called uh-huh. the Hobbit. Yeah. Uh-huh. It's like. <laughs> I feel like <laughs> I feel like it's the same art style, and it's like I don't know the Hobbit. That that make that makes sense, and I played some of it, and that was fun, and it was cartoony. But that the book was cartoony if you read it, you know. It was you know very kind of childish, which, but the art style is like the same, but it's realistic. So it's like it almost looks like the same CG they used just to play Gollum, but they were like, make the head look. Same way as the MG <laughs> Master Potatoes destroy overworlds. Yeah. <laughs> almost, almost like they're like, all right, yeah. guys, our first game wasn't a hit, but you know, it was all right. This time, let's really lower the bar. Yeah, yeah. Gollum. I always thought it'd be the sick Lord of the Rings. if Gollum. They, they made a video game on Lord of the Rings, but did kind of like the opposite of like good and did like the bad side of Lord of the Rings, where you play cool. as like the evil in it. So it'd be cool if you it was like a horror game and you play as like one of like uh, actually yeah, where you played as one of like the ring race and you went and like hunted people down okay. and stuff. It's kind of what I you said, know. sort of, but it also kind of leads into kill topic because that kind of exists a little bit. Really? If you if you remember Caleb, not exactly like that, but somewhat. Okay, the, I, was so like I, don't, me. <laughs> I don't want to get into the next topic because you, you're going to bring it up. But our next, the next topic is going to be about the battle for Middle Earth, right? What the heck? <laughs> this is deleting. Okay, bye. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> the battle for Middle Earth, reforged yeah. or the regular one? I'm not talking about just reforged though, just the original. Um, I'll save it for that, but basically, Nathan, they kind of did that, and I'll I'll explain when we get into the next. Into the oh snap! No, I'm excited. No, no. go ahead, Shiloh. Bring it go up. Ahead. All right. So you okay. had segued to the next topic. Do <laughs> battle front two. Oh wait, hold on, hold on. Really? Okay, let's summarize Gollum, guys. Yes, no. Yeah. No. Yes, no, no. no. Um, negative. I'm gonna give it a potato. Give me a no for me, dog. Take that as a no. Yeah, it's a no. Okay. Right, you are go. not the precious. <laughs> watch this game. Watch this game win like five awards, and we're like, we were so wrong. Yeah. God, <laughs> who wins game of the year next time? Can you imagine that? <laughs> it's a bunch of little quit. kids playing it. I quit gaming. <laughs> yeah. I'd be imagine, like, this like, is no longer for me. What? You guys don't like, have phones? Yeah, what do you still have phones? <laughs> yeah. Currently <laughs> using my phone to bash <laughs> the Golem <laughs> game online to a bunch yeah. of nerds. <laughs> was, okay, but uh, imagine like a segment where it's like God of War, you press like square, triangle, circle, but it's like you're you're trying to fight against your bad self. Quick like time event. He, he's like Gollum's like he's like we want the precious, and then Smiggle's like I don't want to hurt them. It's just doing these quick actions, <laughs> fighting yourself the whole time. Yeah, you're fighting yourself the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> so um, so yeah, so the Battle of Middle Earth. Uh, I don't want any any specifics here. I'm not really sure when it was released. Don't crap but it was an rts game uh like command and conquer but lord of the rings and um so one of the main things that i did in the game they had a story mode um me and kel had the second one we didn't have totally the first one story mode play the first one yeah but they had a story mode and i obviously you play as good guys but i don't know for sure if there was i, I think there was a story mode for the evil side but i do know for sure uh actually no there i'm pretty sure there was or there was some yeah. sort of that because um i know you could do skirmishes and obviously you could choose any race or whatever you want to do but i do recall playing a specific campaign or some kind of conquest i think that was probably the mode was conquest and you could be the orcs or urukai and it would literally be like go kill the elves you're like okay so anyways <laughs> i i recall okay. doing that kind of stuff where you're like fighting the man oh, okay. fighting the elf and it's like, oh wow, the whole world's being taken over by the, the by the bad guys. And I'm like, wow, I'm actually doing this. <laughs> so actually, so there, yeah, you can play as the that. evil. Yeah. Uh, so there is. I, I have the there case is. in front of me for uh, it's the rise of the witch king. And oh, so snap. It's, it's, it's says command the rise of evil in Middle Earth. So yeah, nice. Um, yep. Yeah. So fun, it says dude. after Sounds 1,000 bad, yeah. years of peace, it's time for evil to rise once again. Control the rise <laughs> of the witch king and command his armies at uh, NR yeah. in an all-new single-player campaign. It was good. Come, hard, when did yeah. this come out? 2006 was when this yeah, came out. Yeah, a while ago. Wow. <laughs> Dang. Caleb, you remember where we got? I got that DLC. We got it. I'm pretty uh, sure we it was got Goodwill. It. Goodwill for like eight. Yeah, bucks. we were at Goodwill. <laughs> I just remember seeing it inside the glass container, but, and it said Lord of the Rings, I, and I was like, I want it. 
I think this is heavy. how it, I think this is how it began <laughs> though. I think we saw it we like dope. This looks awesome, but we didn't realize it was an expansion pack. And we were like, we can't oh, play that's it. Right. What do you need? You need the second game. And we're like, oh, and then we went to Target and bought the second game. <laughs> I forgot we got Problem that at Target. Yeah. Oh, so, that's Problem. when I remember Modern seeing. Uh, they, that was when they had uh, Halo on for Vista. Oh, God. I, I remember seeing that there. Yeah, oh. had Halo for Vista, and then I think they had a uh, Quake that was listed on there. God, maybe Counter Strike. God, I'm having horrible flashbacks <laughs> to Halo PC. <laughs> Did you ever play that when it was out on PC before? Yes. Well, I mean, I I you tried really to excited when it, about it when it worked. He's really excited. About it. God, he's having flashbacks. Vietnam oh, flashbacks. It was horrible. <laughs> it was one of those moments, you know, like up. insert. Insert memes. Look what they did to my boy. <laughs> I'm sorry, boy. Don't, do dance, don't, boy. don't make this harder than it has to be. Yeah. <laughs> so let's, let's, let's talk more about Lord of the Rings stuff. I'm, uh, you hurt. You hurt me. Here, let let's just make let's just take the Battlefront game formula and make Lord of the Rings. Yes. Yeah. I forgot about that, bring actually. Back, bring, bring back Lord of the Rings Conquest. Yeah, I was going to yeah. say. Let, let's, like, legit, let's just do that. Just remember, and if you know, that out of first-person mode. And if they don't want to do that, then take the For Honor fucking melee combat system and make a Lord of the Rings game out of that. Well, that'd be cool. Actually, mm. uh, do you guys remember the, the Third Age game? Yeah. That was a lot of fun. I remember when that game came out. That was so dope. <laughs> yeah, that, that one was an RTS game, wasn't it? Or was no, it well, a, it was a turn-based, turn-based uh, kind of like was. Final Fantasy, but Lord of the Rings. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's kind of like weird when you think about it now. It's like that's kind of an interesting con- uh, concept. But I remember playing it, and it was like the combat was actually kind of brutal. And they had like all the different like uh, orcs and Urukai leaders, and that, that's oh, kind that's of sort of what led to the Shadow of Mordor type uh, game, where you had like the leaders and the, the tiers of the leaders and whatnot. You'd actually like you know finish them off. But uh, yeah, so Battle for Middle Earth. Uh, me and Caleb, we pretty much well, Caleb. I don't know. You you had a, do you have a list of points here for the, the Battle of Middle Earth or questions uh, or anything like that on it, or are we just talking about as it? in like the old games in general? No, free ball in it. Yeah, but afterwards I you was going to say the... the um, it was the reforged. Right, right, okay. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I remember playing. Uh, so that's I told you guys how we got it, and we got it target because we didn't have the actual game, and um, I played the heck out of that thing. So at the time. How old were you think? Uh, well, what it was 2006. We must have got it when it came out, or at least a year later. Yeah, we released. So, you know, I think like it was 12, like, yeah, 11 or 12. And at the time, we got laptops uh, from our school to do school quote. <laughs> and um, <laughs> I, <laughs> dude, we did zero homework on that thing. <laughs> Um, so and at the time, video editing and movies and all that. No, seriously, exact Windows Movie Maker boy. <laughs> Heck yeah, I still use that for this video. <laughs> so um at the time uh our mom uh so she worked at this hospital uh like i don't know what it was like in jackson or something like that so we had a commute she had a commute over there and there was many times when uh my dad would either take her and we'd go pick her up later or whatnot or we'd just go meet her for lunch and then just stay for a while and then like leave so there was like all the time me and caleb or whatever we'd bring our laptops in the in the van and just like play on the way there let alone actually playing at the hospital we'd be like in the waiting room plugging in our chargers at like 10 o'clock at night or so and no one's around and we're just playing battle for middle earth and um i just I, I don't know that was the first rts game i played uh that was like probably the first um actual pc game that i played uh nice. after the pinball game <laughs> yeah so, so, the master. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. so that was like my, i think my first official pc game and i wasn't nowhere near being a pc gamer at all i just thought at the time i didn't even know i mean i'm 12 years old i didn't really think of or know of like gaming stuff and obviously yeah. the gaming community was nowhere near at all what the gaming community is now it's so much more than just video games i mean mm-hmm. there's like there's just so many tiers and, and different things but at the time you know we were ps2 players you know we played ps2 whatnot and if we were at a friend's house or whatever xbox we played halo whatever but i had no concept of like computer gaming really you know like my concept with that was like hey did i get the free spider-man game from my cereal 
Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I can play, yeah, 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 I can play this demo over and over, baby. I don't need the next level. <laughs> so, I, I, think I um, the last person to do that, or like the last company, <clears throat> which was funny because we were talking about it earlier, was Burger King, the Burger King game for the Xbox. Yes, <laughs> I think it was like the last company that oh, actually made yeah. a game for a console. Isn't that freaking weird? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but yeah, so I I played that and uh, and I didn't. Know and I just fell in love with that. I loved how you had full control of like creating freaking squadrons of, of soldiers or whatever. And every time I did a skirmish, I just chose the elves. I created my entire army out of archers because I fell in love with the Helm's Deep scene in Two Towers, of course. And I made my, because you can make different types of soldiers, of course. But I was like, nope, I want all archers. And I chose Legolas as my hero. Nice. <laughs> And mm-hmm. I could just wipe everybody. Like, and, and I don't know why, but any other uh, skirmish <laughs> I did, they just charged you. They didn't like even have any archers of their own or whatever. And they would just charge you by the time they got to me. If they had like three or four groups, if anything, they'd have like one group before they got to us. And like they were all. So you chose. Anyway, I, just, I, was <laughs> I was just laughing because I totally had a flashback <laughs> of uh, remembering that all the people. So you would have Legolas or you'd have a bunch of other heroes that would ride on horses or everybody's like seven feet tall. So they would run super fast, and then by the time the fight was over, you would see Gimli still on his way. To try to oh, I know! Oh, God. <laughs> so yeah. His running he's animation was still tank. slow, so he'd be like... <sighs> <sighs> so late. And then he'd get there super late to the next fight, oh my gosh, and then they're like, oh, we're on our way to this fight. You can eat dwarves on natural yeah. sprinters. <laughs> Very dangerous over short distances. Yeah. Cross country is wasted on me. <laughs> yes. Oh man. But yeah, that was a. Uh, it was just a, such a great game. So many memories with that game. And then of course the mm. Witch King expansion. And correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know if it was the Witch King expansion or just the second game. But the one cool thing I thought was awesome was one of the missions you did as the good guys um, was I'm pretty sure the Lake Town battle. Um, or like you know how they have the Dune Dane, and they were talking about that in the Hobbit, where like they're Dune kind of that. beyond. Uh, Dunedain, sorry, uh, beyond the uh, the lake shore, the lake town uh, village. So they had that battle, and like I didn't really know much about Middle Earth. Obviously, like at that time, especially as a kid, like of course I could pull out a map, but I I wasn't thinking about these different races and the different like towns that you don't really. That's out, racist. You know? It is racist. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, they had that mission, and I was like, what the heck? The you know the dragon man, he's you know he's he's breaking out of the cave. He's gonna attack the town. Blah blah. blah. Like. I don't know. The, the cutscenes were pretty cool too. I mean, obviously they're super like potato graphics now, but it was like just awesome. Like, holy crap! All hell is breaking loose, man. Just a fun game, really addictive. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The um, speaking of you know, or you know, talking about that game. Um, so I, I had saw earlier today because um, I was wanting to write like an article on something, and I was kind of thinking of those games because I, I was playing. Uh, they have you know files you can you know get on the Googles. And download it because the discs don't work anymore. Um, I have the old serial codes that are in there, but it just doesn't work, want to work because it's not compatible. So you can get them online, but it has stumbled upon. Uh, so the, there's a fan made, uh, what is it? It's a fan, non commercial fan project. And so it's called Battle for Middle Earth Reforged. So it's a, uh, you know, upscale like resolution, textures, everything from the ground up recreated. Um, Re- recreation of battle for middle earth and mm. so like down to the, like the menu how the ui looks the gameplay everything is classic and true to the old game uh but just yeah, upscaled, all that. i think in uh unreal engine and, and it looks really cool uh so they, ha- they have a support page that's that's on there um where you can help them out with the project which i'm i'm hoping it doesn't get shut down like halo that one made sense um what, what was that one called hype that one Halo that we were playing before Master Chief Collection came out on PC. Do you remember uh, what it was called? I know it started with an. I know it started with an E. RTS. Uh, no, it was but Halo. Halo, Halo online. Halo online, but there was like Halo. The actual executable was like Halo Three, and then something with an E. Yeah, some. I can't remember what it was called, but same thing. You know, fan project uh, for the game. Halo made sense just because they had plans to bring it on PC anyway, so it was kind of like. I'd rather have something that's going to be legit from uh, is Bungie that was making it. Or, well, 343. That's what it was, yeah. So, you know, obviously that's going to be better, having a dedicated team 
from the original company making the game. They but, just finished putting the last one out too. All four Halos and ODST are finally out. Mm-hmm. Oh, and awesome. Halo Reach. I saw that they were shutting down all the old games on uh, the 360 Three. though for the servers. Yep. Yep, they're finally doing it. Mm. But I mean, realistically, it's because there's not really any reason now to not upgrade. Like, right. I mean, I, I guess unless you just flat out don't have a PC or a, uh, you know, or mm. an, an Xbox console. But, you know, I mean, that reminds me of that... uh, Nathan. What, what was that one company where, uh, remember when they were trying to, oh, it was Halo, I think. They were trying to shut down servers, and everyone was like, "Guys, don't look at the servers because they'll shut it down." They can't yeah, shut it was, down. Yeah, it was Halo too. I can't remember. Yeah. The exact <laughs> amount, I can't remember the exact amount of time or whatever, but yeah, they kept them up for a while. Yeah, I think it was like, like a, a few months. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I think it was time a few... holding them hostage, basically. And they're like, "Okay, yeah. we're gonna shut this down." <laughs> yeah, and the final, the final guy or whatever that was in there, he didn't even actually leave either. He finally got kicked out or whatever <laughs> because his power wow. went out. Oh wow! Did he really? <laughs> yeah, his power, oh, power went out. His power, his power, his power went out or whatever, and that was it. He was done. He was the last they one. Sent, they sent Master Chief over there to cut his power lines. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering how Phil Spencer got that promotion. Execute order. Power off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, all right, it was fun for a while. Somebody go stuff this little shit. Um, yeah, he's like, I, it was cool. All right, let's get I know it. we're on the Reforged topic, but I'm super excited for the free to play MMO coming from Amazon, The Lord of the Rings. You guys see that? Wait, what was it? I'm There's a. Mm hmm. It's the free to play Lord of the Rings MMO, co developed by Anthon Games and Amazon. Oh, really? Oh. I loved every and, part uh, of that until we got to Amazon. <laughs> yeah, it looks to be coming in 2022. Only available through the um, Amazon cloud gaming streaming device. Oh, and don't. it's oh. going to be on PC <laughs> and consoles. So That sounds but, really dope, though. But it, supposedly, it's going to be set long before the book trilogy is what they were saying. So it's going to be like a, oh, like so a prequel game. The same time frame as their show, then. Yeah. So And it's going to be free to play, sounds, so that would be cool. Yeah. Neat, because you know they've had the Lord of the Rings MMO for running for like what twenty two years now or whatever. Mm. That game, have you guys tried downloading that game? That game is so big, holy crap! Yeah, it, it is massive. Online. Yeah, yeah. It, it took me like a whole day to download it. It was yeah, ridiculous. I just, I just remember me and Raj last... and a few other guys played it just mm. like a month ago. Yeah, it's it's the last fun. Time, uh, me and Shiloh tried playing it. Uh, we like both installed it. We we're playing it. it. You know, it's it's old, but. It was still uh, pretty fun, but I just remember hopping in, and then Shao goes, hello, trying to talk to other players. Yes. And they were all German. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're all German. Yeah. So they just Come start on. screaming at him, basically. And oh, he's like, oh, I don't know what you're saying. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think they're friendly. They're friendly. Yeah, friendly, right, friendly, man, friendly. I it. You it just see weird, Shiloh though. turn to Caleb. It's some form of Elvish. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Can't read it. I mean, hear it. No. <laughs> it, I, I try, man. Like, even now, which is why I would say I'm kind of excited about this because, I mean, it, like, any, uh, you know, back in the day when they made, like, a movie, they always did, like, something, the game. Like, you know, it, maybe it's that. Maybe it's kind of a version of that where, like, the MO, they're trying to get other, you know, kind of crowds into it because, like, hey, they're making an MO that's probably kind of the same universe or timeline as the as the show. But, like, I tried getting to the MO currently, and, again, obviously this MO has been around since, what, probably, like, 2004 or something like that. And uh, mm. just, it's dead. It's so dead unless you're probably part of, like, a, a, liter- like a super tight-knit, like, group um, who, like, still raids or some crap, you know? Like, there's no one online or playing. And then, like, of course, if you run into somebody, they might be German or something, which I'm like, yeah. I don't have a problem with if we just continue and do a quest somehow. But the thing is, I'm like, how do you, how are you even here? Isn't this? Or like, why aren't you in your German server? <laughs> so <laughs> I, I don't know. I just I think it'd be cool because I think any new Emma starts out at at least peak players because you know everyone's trying to play with it for the for the first time. And I think there are a lot of people who would play it because a they're probably like hearing of the show and they're like, oh that sounds dope. Or b they're someone like us where they're like kind of long time you know Lord of the Rings fans and we're like, hey I'll kind of try anything Lord of the Rings you know. Um and c of course just anybody who likes to try Emmas in general like. You know, which hopefully in that sense, it'll mean like this MO will actually become populated and uh, we'll have an updated Lord of the Rings game. Because, mm. you know, sometimes I'm like, I don't have no idea what to play right now. Like, I, I could totally, 
hop on a you know an MO to grind maybe, but it needs content one and it needs players because I'm like I know yeah. Nathan's the bit I think Nathan's different. I don't know if it's Nathan or, or somebody else, but like can't you play like an MO and you don't really care if those people or not because you just kind of do the quest and kind of roam yeah. around like you don't really care, right? Exactly. Yeah, do, um, I know. Do dungeons and whatnot with people. But... And it's, I'm not saying I can't do that at all, but I feel like hmm. I'm like if if that's the case, then I'll just play a single player game offline. Like. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Why would I want to play an MO free or not when people aren't involved? Like, I think I don't. Yeah. I mean, if, if that's if that's you, cool. But I'm like, again, if it's like if I'm gonna be by myself and no one's even really around, then why even like play this open world game? With, you know, with all this stuff, when I can just do that on The Witcher or something like Daisy. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna mention. I feel like MMOs are such a risk nowadays because it's like. Uh... Unless you have a big following or you've already been pretty set now, every time I hear of an MMO being made, I'm like, oh, sweet, MMO. Yeah. And then they always have to come out with, we're going to be the next WoW killer. I'm yep. like, oh, it's mm-hmm. that. It's that. Like, oh, it's like, that's it. Because you guys are trying so hard to kill WoW. And I'm like, yeah. just be yourself. Like, Just do the MMO the way you want to do it. Right. And if you have a big enough following already, people are going to love it. You know, like, you goofed right. up. Like Final well, Fantasy right now is still going. You have you the, uh, the, the Elder Rings. Scrolls online. Yeah, like World when you Warcraft. look at Lord of the Rings or you look at Harry Potter, both have like such a huge like cult following. Exactly. And everybody, and everybody these days, no matter what, a lot of people have like consoles and PC, and especially if you do, if they can do it right, and if you can do crossplay, like I don't know how that's going to work with it being an MMO. Um, maybe they'll make it simple or more casual, where it's not going to be. Um, better to play on pc like that's my problem with daisy was it's a game that you have to play with controller and and keyboard is because it's so hard to play with the uh the inventory system so i think if they can can make it if they can make it simple um and fun to play um so it's not too complex and they make it cross play that would definitely um you know come combine the player base and so you have a lot more people to play with so you wouldn't have to worry about your game kind of dying um but uh, you know they they both have such a huge like cult following. I I wouldn't see why you wouldn't have a lot of people playing their games when they come out with the MMO. Yeah, and I I, I mean I do I do love MMOs. Like for me personally, <laughs> I cannot wait for the League of Legends MMO. Right, finally is waking mm-hmm. up and doing a League of MMO. Um, what was the but, name of that one? Uh, League of Legends MMO. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, okay. I think it's just called. <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I don't think they have a name for it yet. Oh, but. Okay. Um, but that's obviously going to do great. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm pr- right. Right. Could make pretty quality content. So I'm, I have a lot of hopes in them, but, uh, I'm hoping that this Lord of the Rings MMO is going to be good too. So we'll see. Mm-hmm. We'll see. But it has a lot of com- competition because you got the League of Legends MMO coming up. You got Lord of the Rings. Mm-hmm. Uh, you're still going to compete with like World of Warcraft and Blizzard. And, you know, I don't know. Competition's tough. Yeah, MMOs are hard, and they're huge mm-hmm. projects, and you have to dump so much money into them. Yeah. So I don't know. We'll see. Mm-hmm. But if I if, I have faith though, if, if anybody's going to pull off a great MMO like World of Warcraft, I think it's going to be right. So we'll see though. Yeah. We'll see. I I think it'll be interesting too because uh, I mean just the the amount of characters that they have now, it's the perfect time to come out with one because there's so many different things that you can do and so many different storylines you can pull from. <laughs> to make uh to make a really right. good game when it comes to questing or just um expansions in general yeah mm-hmm. uh, Plus, i think it'd be kind of cool like, if you had like a side by side you know like you yeah. have an expansion coming out with certain content based on the season that's popped out if you correlate it that way if you have it completely its own thing then you know that's cool too though mm. i wonder if they're gonna do like a mount system though that's like on uh you know in world of warcraft Oh, I'm I, sure. I, I couldn't imagine running around everywhere. Yeah, that would. I don't know. It's so annoying. Mm. They did that in the original. The recording <coughs> the MO right now. Are you okay, bud? Oh yeah, yeah, I'm good. Rona. Okay. <laughs> Rona. <laughs> so, uh, like in the Lord of the Rings that's out right now, uh, it's that same way where, like, I think they made it where it's you can't get a mount until you reach some crazy level. Obviously, you get like you pay like real money and buy your your amount, and it's like I'm sorry, but that that's I know again. There's certain things like going on, like Lord of the Rings, for instance, is it's a free MMO, 
but that's the problem with certain MMOs that are free or not is like if it's free based then they'll have crap like that but i don't speak from experience i mean i don't know about uh you know wow like if you know obviously you're paying 15 bucks a month playing wow then you should obtain a mount like a certain level but not super high level and then you have your mount boom but they shouldn't make it crazy stupid or yeah. or you have to be like oh here's five bucks give me my mount i think so world of warcraft is like what is it level 20 or is it higher oh for the free trial yeah i think it's level 20 for, no, so for if you're your, a paying if you're a paying member oh for your uh, mount yeah it's level 20 mm-hmm. what about okay is that is it the same way if you're a paying like a subscriber or what? you have to you have to uh pay in world warcraft so like either way you can't make it to like to, like you have to make it to level 20 or just pay to get yeah. it yeah uh, well no 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 you can't so pay to get it the trial it. is the level 20 but if you want to like play the game further and get a mount and stuff you have to pay so oh, there's like okay. a lot of features you don't have during the free trial like you can't even mail well, that's somebody what I, meant. From... I didn't mean a free trial i mm-hmm. meant like if you're paying wow you have a subscription mm-hmm. what when would you get your mount like same oh you... it'd be level 20. okay so same and thing. then you'd, you'd run everywhere and then get it yeah they it used to be 40 and then it used to be oh, 60 with 100 percent. that's crazy what we want you to do is grind and max one character then you can get a mount yeah I can, old school, imagine, wow. I can imagine all of the old school players that had to deal with that. And then they're like, back in my day, I had to run around <laughs> for hours every day. Oh, yeah. Wow is not the same. Mind. Like, back in the day from vanilla to now, that's it's a totally different game. Okay, wait. I do have another question. I know this, we're getting a little off topic. We're talking about MMOs. What is the difference between, like, wow and wow classic? Like, why on earth did they come out with wow classic? If WoW has always kind of been classic, just with updates and changes, like some people need that kind of grind in their life, in nostalgia. Yeah, <laughs> and it's terrible. also yeah, nostalgia. <laughs> so like WoW Classic, they kind of did a like a downgrade graphically, no? And, and Blizzard's stuff, all or... free money, so. Uh, it was kind of like how the from what I had saw, it was just how the game operated. Was it based off of was it Warcraft or was it it was actual World of Warcraft? Which one was it? WoW Classic? WoW Classic is actual World of Warcraft. That's what it was. But I mean, what was the difference, though? Nobody answered Shallow still. Oh. <laughs> um, oh, no, he kind of did. He said, like, okay. you know, for this nostalgia. And Basically, for this, the, the yeah. The, the way Blizzard... Different. The way Blizzard has crafted WoW now is, like, they've turned it into, like, anybody can just jump on and learn how to play. Where Classic, back in the day, was hardcore as F. And it took you, you know, like a whole year to get to level 60. For now, you could hit level 120 in like four days. It's ridiculous. So it's a big difference. <laughs> wow. That's crazy. Okay. It's just stuff like that. Like the game was difficult. <laughs> the game is not difficult. <laughs> I get what you Okay. I, I get it. Wow. That's Basically, they, they've dumbed it down over the years to make everybody happy. Mm-hmm. So right, which and that's is why. I, you know, earlier you were saying that like pleasing people but also making just making a game the way you want to make it as a developer <laughs> yeah so and like, that's why a lot of like hype was saying a lot of people they miss that grind of the game but also they just want that nostalgia feeling of the game was hard at one time well, and i want to have that challenge exactly. again because wow was a challenge like back in the day it was a challenge to earn each level like it took days and days and days and days of grinding and doing quests and the game was so new that people still didn't know what they were doing. So, like, nowadays you could just accept a quest and it will tell you on the map where to go. Well, back then you had to read the quest and then go figure out where the hell the quest is. <laughs> so, right, right. you know, everything was so hard. You actually had to put in work. So I hate work. I'm glad they made the new one. I'm just kidding. Back in my day. <laughs> <laughs> we ate dirt. No. I mean, I remember <laughs> my older brother, Michael, he he's he's been like a veteran of the game and he's been playing yeah. since 2000 i think when did it come out 2003 2004 i mean he, he played in the original beta so yeah. uh, i remember as a kid watching him play when i was younger and like he would spend so much time and it took him like days and days to get like one level you know and so i did it all the way i mean <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah he when he disenchanted everything. yeah disenchanted everything yeah, in the guild bank. <laughs> Mike, oh we got so God. pissed. Yeah, oh, that was so yeah, funny. Yeah, Michael. That was a great story. <laughs> oh, man, that's funny. That's awesome. 
Dang. Yeah, it's yeah Mike was the best that day. That was so funny. <laughs> I honestly like. I felt really bad when he didn't get that uh, that trophy in the mail. For uh, what was it? It was um, if when you played every single day from like day one up until I think it was like a ten year mark or something. Well, and then you got like, Tom and Michael. Yeah. It what was, like, the hell, really? Yeah, if you played like, day one, um, since like it started or whatever it was, um, if, and you had an active subscription that whole time, there was like this trophy thing or something you would get in the mail. Um, for playing and it was like this really nice looking thing and, Thanks for having but, he, no but he didn't get it because obviously he didn't keep the sub up you know here and there well what's funny is he actually uh since he was one of the original beta players he actually got a full paid uh trip to blizzcon but because he couldn't go because it landed on his wedding day so <laughs> he was upset well he should have moved He's his like, wedding day <laughs> hey, hear, me, hear me out hear me out i remember was the day that honeymoon. I remember he looked over at <laughs> exactly. Casey, his wife, and he she was like, "No, absolutely not." Oh, <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> yeah, but that was cool. Like, yeah, Blizzard was gonna pay him to go to BlizzCon and everything. So that'd be crazy. Hmm. <clears throat> yeah, I felt I felt bad though when he uh, when Here's he the out, that, the trophy thing. <laughs> yeah, that would have been pretty cool. Something special. Yeah. If you guys are looking at the Discord, I, this is what it looked like. I... Oh, that's cool. If I found the correct thing, it oh, says okay. it was the 10-year 10, 10 mark trophy. Yeah, I, I think that's what it was. 2004 um, to 2014, it says. Yeah, they, uh, everybody uh, had gotten that if you uh, were consistent with it. Dang. That's crazy. I, I did just that. that. That's a cool trophy. Mm-hmm. It, being like, there's only X amount of these made, and I'm one. Yeah. How much would you? pay for like mm-hmm. yeah i would have Crap. got a frame and printed that picture out and put it in my uh, house somewhere <laughs> the day that my wife didn't let me get a trophy yeah, yeah. <laughs> well that was uh that was about it though i mean for topics wise do you guys have anything else to say on on anything um cinnamon rolls cinnamon rolls oh, that sounds good <laughs> yeah, <pretty> good <laughs> All right. Well, uh, thanks, guys, for listening to the podcast uh, talking about War of the Rings. Uh, I thought we were actually going to talk about more of a bunch of random stuff afterwards, but I liked your input, Shiloh. Uh, things kept uh, kept things going. Yeah, uh, thank so, you. For sure, for sure. Yeah, we'll definitely talk about some other things. Uh, we've been trying to. I've been trying to keep up on Sons of the Forest, so I'm I'm hoping more comes out for that. Yes, uh, yes. They had a gameplay trailer, like the official one that I had reacted to. That's on our channel. Yeah. If you guys want to, you guys can kind of, you guys can watch that if you want. Um, oh, I but did. It, but it wasn't really gameplay though. Like that's the only thing I was kind of bummed about. Was it? it I wasn't really, ready. It wasn't really gameplay. <laughs> it was just real time recording of the game with a couple of things here and there, but it wasn't shooting a full a on true <laughs> gameplay trailer. So yeah. I'm hoping that they come out with something soon. Um, and then I'm, I'm excited for it to come out. We'll definitely have to play that some more. It's the furthest uh, it's ever been. Yeah. I want to see the, I want to see <laughs> the force that you're allowed to make. Yeah. Those look cool. I can see, uh, I can see that uh, Samwise Gamgee game still having loot crates. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, if, I feel you like... are, if you guys are interested, though, we have a uh, we have a website where we keep up on gaming news, blogs. Uh, we post our podcasts on there, so it's kind of just an all around uh, one place area you can go for those things. Uh, it's allthingsnerdblog.com. So if you're interested, definitely check that out. Uh, we'll be posting this podcast on there too. Um, but uh, yeah, thanks for listening, guys, and thanks for you guys joining the podcast. You thanks are for having me. Fun. I just heard yes, fun, <laughs> and then some other noise from Michael. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye.